Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Sword Dan here, and in today's design episode, we are going to be doing the Rocket Pass Decal Liquid Camo. This is a pretty cool decal, in my opinion, but I think it's better with more darker color combinations than it is brighter color combinations. But I still tried not to only use darker color combinations in this design episode, so I did switch things up by using a brighter one. But you guys will see. This decal liquid camo definitely does remind me of Goop though, 100%, because whatever the accent color is really determines however the primary is going to look on the car, so I think that's pretty cool. Make sure to use code SPORTYDAN11 in the item shop, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest Rocket League videos. So let's get started with the first car design of the episode. Starting off, we have the forest green octane for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the Crimson Octane. For the decal, for the orange side, it is the Liquid Camo Painted Crimson. And then for the blue side, it is the Liquid Camo Painted Forest Green. For the colors, for the primary of the blue side, we have a very dark forest green with the accent as black. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a dark crimson with the accent as black yet again. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the Blade Wave Inverted Painted Crimson. And then for the blue side, they are the Blade Wave Inverted Painted Forest Green. So the reason why I chose the colors is to match those wheels. So for this blue side, we have that dark forest green as the primary with the accent as black. And then I have that forest green liquid camo to match the brightness of the lines on the treads of the blade waves inverted. And I really like how the black and forest green liquid camo really match those treads with them kind of blending together at times. So pretty cool really matching those treads. And then same for the orange side, we have that dark crimson as the primary and then the black as the accent with that crimson liquid camo to match the brightness of the treads of the wheels and i really like how the painted versions of the liquid camo look i think they're much better than the non-painted ones for the boost we're going with radiant gush painted crimson for the orange side to match that liquid camo type feeling and we have that darker red going throughout the entire boost and then it gets darker and then for the blue side, we have the forest green radiant gush to match that bright forest green in the front. And then it gets darker as the boost goes on, really matching the decal of liquid camo. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion. But for the trail, we have the tachyon 3 painted forest green for the blue side to match the lines of the treads on the blade waves inverted. And then for the orange side, we have the crimson tachyon 3 to match the treads of the blade wave inverted with the lines. So this is the orange side with this darker themed car design with the liquid camo looks really good Like I said, I think liquid camo does a great job with a lot of darker themed car designs But we have that dark crimson as the primary with the accent as black for this orange side And then that bright crimson liquid camo matching perfectly with the treads of the wheels And then for the blue side we have the green and black with the forest green liquid camo Again, I really like how the painted versions of the liquid camo look especially with dark color combinations it looks amazing so getting into the next car design we do have the sunrise 1986 wheels so starting off we do have the sky blue octane for both sides also the orange octane for both sides will also work just fine for the decal for both sides it is the sky blue liquid camo decal and then for the colors for the primary for the blue side we have a blue with the accent as orange and then for the primary for the orange side we have a yellowish with the accent as a blue. For the wheels, for both sides, they are the Sunrise 1986 wheels. So, I know. I told you I was going to try to change things up by not doing all dark themed car designs for this liquid camo because well, you guys don't want to see the same designs over and over again, just different colors, wheels, and boosts. So that's always my main goal whenever I do these episodes, is to not repeat everything like all dark themed car designs, unless you know I was doing a specific dark themed car design. So we have this summer themed car design. Now let me explain why I chose this design with liquid camo, because it blends into the car. Whatever that accent is determines the primary. So I really like how these wheels have those colors blended into them. So that's why I did this design with liquid camo. So for this blue side, we have the primary as a blue with that accent as orange. And that resembles the blue at the bottom of the wheels. And then that sky blue adds a little bit more to the car. And it also has the three colors of the wheels. And then for this orange side, we have that primary as more of a yellow, and then that accent as blue makes it really look like the top of the wheels with the orange and then the sky blue liquid camo to add that third color in there as well. 
For the boost, we have the Vaporwave Remix for both sides to get the orange, blue, and a little bit of the sky blue in there as well. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, we have the orange Tachyon 3 for both sides. I just think it looks really cool with the sunrise wheels, so that's why I chose the orange Tachyon 3. So this is the orange side. Again, I don't know if this one is going to get a lot of love. For this liquid camo decal, I did have so many dark themed car designs, but that's not what I wanted to make this whole entire episode about, only dark themed. So every single design episode that I do, I always try to switch things up, some dark themed, some brighter themed, just a little bit different from most design channels. I didn't want to be the same thing over and over again. So that's why I really like to switch things up. Some designs may not look as good because I always try to switch things up but I'm pretty happy with them in this episode. And then for the blue side, we have that blue and orange blending together to match those bottom of the wheels with the sky blue liquid camo to match that third color. Now let me tell you what I mean about the accent determining the primary color. So if I change this accent color for this blue side, as you can see, if I set it to a green, that green kind of flows through the car, kind of changing that primary blue a little bit brighter. So if I change it back to orange, as you can see, it's kind of more purplish now. So that's what I mean by the accent determining the primary color, because whatever you set the accent to definitely changes that primary color. So getting into the next car design, we do have the short quarter wheels. So starting off, we do have the purple octane for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the saffron octane. For the decal, for the orange side, it is the saffron liquid camo. And then for the blue side, it is the purple liquid camo. For the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have a dark purple with the accent as a dark purple as well. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a saffron with the accent as black. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the short quarter inverted painted saffron. And then for the blue side, they are the short quarter inverted painted purple. So the reason why I chose the wheels, well, because to my surprise, I have actually never done a single design episode with these wheels in them. So I thought, let's try to put them in this episode, and I think they work really well with this liquid camo decal. So for this blue side, we have that primary as a dark purple with the accent as a dark purple as well to match the wheels, like when they were just sitting still, not in its bright face. That's where I like that accent color so that I think it still has some purple in the design. But when the wheels light up, that's when the purple liquid camo comes into play with that bright purple to match the wheels brightening up. And then for this orange side, we have that yellow and black color combination always a favorite of mine, but I didn't choose the accent as saffron as well because I didn't really like how it looked. I think it looks so much better with the accent as black and then that saffron liquid camo going through the car to match those wheels when brightening up. For the boost, for the orange side we have the slash beam 3 painted saffron, slash beam always one of my favorites whenever I'm doing a dark themed car design. And then for the blue side we have the purple slash beam 3. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, for the blue side, it is the Tachyon 1 trail. And then for the orange side, it is the Tachyon 3 painted saffron. So this is the orange side. Again, I chose that accent color as black because, well, it looks cooler. And plus, when the wheels aren't as bright, they do have a much more darker color to them than the blue side. But I really like how the saffron liquid camo goes throughout the car. It just looks super cool. And then for the blue side, we have that purple and purple color combination with the bright purple as the liquid camo to match whenever the wheels light up, looking really cool. So getting into the last and final car design of the episode, we do have the, the camo themed car design. So starting off, we do have the unpainted octane for both sides. And then for the decal, it is the liquid camo decal unpainted for both sides. And then for the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have a blue with the accent as purple. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a very dark saffron with the accent as a very dark green. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the camos unpainted. And then for the blue side, it is the cobalt camo wheels. So yes, this is me trying to switch things up a bit, not trying to do all dark themed car designs for this liquid camo decal, but like 
this one looks pretty cool. So we have those camo wheels because, well, it's a camo decal per se. So I thought it would look really cool. So we have that primary as a blue for this blue side. And then the accent as purple to match the treads of the wheels. As you can see, it has the dark blue in there. And then the purple, the darker purple on the treads to match this liquid camo decal perfectly. And then for this orange side, we have actual camo colors. You know, ghillie suit type style. Your car is going to be so camouflaged that the players won't even know you're on the field. You'll be invisible to everybody. But no, like we have that dark saffron and green color combination to match these unpainted camo wheels perfectly. For the boost, for the orange side, we have the black standard. And then for the blue side, it is the blue standard. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion. But for the trail, we have the cobalt hacksaw 3 for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the black Hacksaw 3. So this is the orange side. This orange side is actually a hack. No player will ever see you on the field. No, please don't believe that, guys. I'm just messing with you. I know, it's just a camo joke. I'm sorry, I really had to put that in there. But, like, I really like this orange side because it really matches those colors of the unpainted camo wheels. And it exactly has the same pattern of these unpainted camo wheels. And then for this blue side, we have that dark blue and purple color combination. Looks really good in this liquid camo, especially matching these camo wheels. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.